what's up guys this is sunny back with another video and today real quick i like to talk about the titan xp so we have another titan x p now mind you we used to call the other titan x that came out pascal titan x also titan xp so now this one titan lorca p so guys the main reason I'm excited today, not because of this Titan XP, a $1,200 graphics card. The reason I'm excited today, because NVIDIA is talking about releasing Mac drivers for Pascal GPUs. So they're talking about that uh, the Titan XP will support like Mac, like Hackintosh, you know what I mean? So I know the Hackintosh community is really happy. Of course I'm happy because I love building Hackintosh and stuff. So basically what's gonna happen when NVIDIA does release the uh, Pascal uh, driver for uh, the Mac, you know, OS X. Now, you can use basically any Pascal graphics card. So you can use from 10 uh, GTX 1050, GTX 1050 Ti, uh, 1060, uh, 1070, 1080, 1080 Ti, basically everything. The only reason I stopped building Hackintosh because I couldn't use the Pascal GPUs. As you guys know, Pascal GPUs are really powerful. So, and so let's let's just get back to the uh, the Titan XP because I know you guys are you know here to uh, watch you know Titan XP. So, um, I, I I just wanted to share with you guys why I'm really excited and why I'm making this video. So, what I think the only reason Nvidia uh, released the Titan XP. Because maybe they know something about the red team. Maybe they know something that we don't know, okay? Maybe they know something about Vega, okay? Maybe somehow Vega's uh, performance matches somewhere maybe next to 1080 Ti. You know, I, I don't know. You know, I'm just, I just think maybe, maybe that could be one reason. As you guys know, right after 1080, the 1080 Ti came pretty fast and then now we already had a titan x that never happened never happened with nvidia nvidia always released like uh you know let's just jump into uh kepler right so 780 780 ti and then the titan x and then only one titan x then after that maxwell same thing you know there was uh 980 980 ti and then one uh titan x now, as you guys can see, they are not calling the this Titan XP uh, NVIDIA GTX Titan X. They are only calling NVIDIA uh, Titan XP. So basically, uh, this GPU was designed for deep learning. Okay, so basically, they are trying to say the NVIDIA Titan XP is not you know built for like gaming. But as you guys know, exactly that's what's gonna happen. People are going to use this card for gaming. Okay. So, basically today I just want to compare both of the cards and uh, show you guys, basically I want to compare the Titan XP uh, versus the Pascal Titan X that came out and uh, let's see what's the difference between both of the cards. If we jump into the spec real quick, I'll just jump into the spec, the full spec, uh, the Titan XP and the older Titan uh, X as you guys can see. now. I don't think NVIDIA will be selling the Titan X anymore because the Titan XP came out. Uh, so basically the Titan X just discontinued. And I know most of you that bought a uh, Titan X, you are really pissed off right now. And I don't blame you because you just spent $1,200, you know, for the fastest GPU. And I know the GTX 1080 Ti came out and most of the Titan X, uh, owners was you know really mad like you know you spend twelve hundred dollar and a seven hundred dollar card just comes out and you know it's the seven hundred dollar card is faster than your twelve hundred dollar card but it's okay now that nvidia release the titan xp that really make the owner of the titan x mad because you are in the same generation of the pascal and now you, for twelve hundred dollar days a faster card like what the hell if i had a titan x right now i think I think I would, uh, I think I would throw my Titan X out the window, seriously, because that's twelve hundred dollar I just spent. Like what the hell? All right, all right, guys, let's just get back to the specs real quick. Talk about the spec and let's not talk about whatever. So, guys, the main difference between both of the graphics card is the 
CUDA cores and the boost clock a little bit not a huge difference and also the memory speed and then the memory bandwidth uh, speed so as you guys can see, the new Titan XP uh, comes with 3,840 CUDA cores, okay, 3,840 CUDA cores. So they did jump from uh, the older Titan X, the 3,584 to uh, 3,840 CUDA cores. As you guys can see, the boost clock um, with the new Titan XP, 1,582 versus the old uh, Titan X. Uh, 1531 so it's not a huge difference now now we don't have the base clock here as you guys can see older one you can see the base clock 1417 so what I'm thinking the base clock is still like 14 something maybe 1440 1450 so um, yeah and then memory speed as you guys can see so the memory speed right now with the new Titan XP is around 11.4 gigabit per second now mind you the older Titan X the memory speed is around 10 gigabit per sec so the memory speed will play a big role if you are using this card for uh, gaming and stuff you will definitely see a pretty pretty good uh, performance uh, difference and also still uh, the uh, the memory uh, speed still uh, uh, 12 uh, 12 gig memory and still a GDDR5X so that didn't change uh you know same memory uh interface still same 384 bit as you guys can see both of them now memory bandwidth uh is a difference between uh both of the card the titan x pascal and titan l uh xp right now the new titan x xp comes with 547.7 gigabit second uh, speed uh, the memory bandwidth speed versus the older pascal uh, titan x 480 now that will play a big uh, performance role uh, between both of the graphics card now what i'm thinking the uh, the new titan xp will be slightly maybe five percent faster or maybe maybe 10 percent faster than gtx 1080 uh ti and could be almost 15 percent faster than a gtx uh, uh gtx uh titan x the older gtx titan x so that's the only difference between uh both of the uh both of the titan x now the only reason i'm showing you all this because there is uh there is some people out there they want the best you know best of the best so i know there's people that just recently bought a gtx 1080 ti they will go out there and buy the titan uh, xp because they want the best of the best so now i'm on the other hand i just want a card that performs really well the reason i order a gtx a 1080 ti because I want to test out like 4k and stuff like I want to get a 4k monitor and stuff so I wanted a graphics card that I can uh, play like 4k games and stuff or test 4k so that's the reason I got but I personally feel like like if you're not someone um, who is willing to uh, like use the Titan XP for like work purpose you know like a learning purpose deep learning purpose don't get a titan x and waste your money you're better off getting a gtx 1080 ti okay basically it's a titan x xp basically it's a titan xp because it comes with uh you know almost the same uh memory speed uh 11 uh, point f it comes with i, I believe uh, gtx 1080 comes with uh 11 gigabit per second um i could be wrong right so let's just check real quick okay uh, so TI specs mm, what's going on here specs right here and I can see the specs all right so right here okay so the difference between uh, the GTX uh, 1080 Ti and the Titan XP uh, as you guys can see the the core is 3584 okay and the boost clock is almost same as the Titan uh, XP as you guys can see 1582 
and also memory speed for the GTX 1080 Ti is only uh, it's not only the memory speed for the GTX 1080 uh, Ti is 11 gigabit per second versus the Titan XP is 11.4 so it's a little faster and also the um, as you guys can see the memory bandwidth that's when it, it does it makes huge difference as you guys can see memory bandwidth for a gtx 1080 ti 484 versus the memory bandwidth of a titan xp 547.7 gigabits per second so that will play a huge role so guys if you guys have any other question uh leave in the comment below i just wanted to share with you guys and like i said amd is working on something really big with the vega that's the reason we are seeing all this thing with nvidia right now so we just have to uh wait and see what vega got to offer but if you're someone who like who have to have to upgrade to a, a graphics card right now and you're willing to spend like 700 dollars get yourself a gtx 1080 ti and if you can wait then just wait and see what amd has to offer maybe in a month or something so guys just stay tuned if you're not subscribed to my channel make sure you subscribe and that should be it guys don't forget to like and share and let me know what's your thoughts peace guys